Hi everybody, welcome to Cooking Heroes. Vlad is here and today's recipe is the homemade mayonnaise. Alright, so what ingredients do we need today? Well, everything is very simple. Look, we need like 150 milliliters of uh, oil. That's vegetable oil. I'm using the sunflower seed oil, but you can use any kind of oil you like. Then we need one egg. That's a pretty big egg. Then we need... Uh, here's half a lemon, but actually we need one tablespoon. Also, we need half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of sugar. Of course, we need a whisk. We need a mixing bowl. We need a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Step number one is to break the egg. Like that. Then I will take a whisk and start mixing. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, I recommend that you use a blender. Uh, that, firstly, that will save you a lot of time. And for second, uh, when you use a blender, the structure of your mayonnaise is gonna be like more even but I'm using a whisk just to make some time to talk to you guys why you may wanna make your own homemade mayonnaise well the reasons are actually obvious reason number one is time how long does it take you to take your car to start the engine and go to the supermarket well I think it's like a couple minutes to get dressed then a couple minutes to start the engine like five minutes to get to the store then a couple minutes to get to the proper department then grab the mayonnaise and the same time to go back probably like 20 minutes or even half an hour making the homemade mayonnaise is only like 10 minutes reason number two is the ingredients quality have you ever read the content of the regular supermarket mayonnaise Seems like it came out of the chemical laboratory with all that awkward ease inside it. Well, all the ingredients here are very simple as you can see. And all are natural. And reason number three is the actual taste of uh, the homemade mayonnaise. Believe me or not, but once I quit eating mayonnaise for probably like a year and after a year without mayonnaise when I was suggested uh, a sandwich with mayonnaise I just couldn't eat it because I could feel all those chemical flowers in it and as far as in this mayonnaise there are no chemicals at all all products are natural if you get used to the taste of the homemade mayonnaise you won't you won't buy the supermarket mayonnaise any longer okay as you can see this takes time so i'll be back in a couple seconds so when eggs or one egg gets about this consistency and much brighter color this means it is saturated with air so now we can add some oil a trick with oil is that you don't need to add all oil 
at a time, you need to add small portions. So we have a hundred fifty milliliters. Let's add like probably like thirteen milliliters, and go on mixing. When it gets even, you can add another portion of oil. Like that. You see? See how it changes the consistency. Okay, and the rest of the oil. Wow. That's actually good. Look. You see, it looks like a real mayonnaise. Okay, so I think it's time to add some lemon juice. One tablespoon. Okay, we don't need those seeds. So I think I'll try to pull them out. Like that. This goes here. And the seeds go away. Alright. So let's mix again. Looks good enough. Now let's add half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of sugar. Again, I must tell you that I recommend that you use a blender because my hands get tired very quickly. Alright, so after a few minutes of mixing, that's what I got. This looks like the mayonnaise. That's good. You see the consistency? Yeah, this does look like the mayonnaise. I need to try it. Excuse me for that. Hmm. This does taste like the mayonnaise. Okay, so if you followed all the steps of the recipe correctly, you're gonna get this healthy and very delicious homemade mayonnaise. If you like the recipe, give us a thumb up. If you didn't like, give us a thumb down. Feel free to leave a comment in the section below, subscribe to our channel and bon appetit!